Hello, this is Chris with Oxinane. What I'd really like to leave you with in this Oxinane moment is introduce you to some terrific resources that we really think might help equip you to help make better business decisions for both progress and growth. And I'm going to introduce to you in a little while PEK Accounting. But before that, I'd just like to introduce myself and our company. My name is Chris Fleck. I'm with a company called Oxinane. Oxinane, it's a Greek word. It means to increase. Really, what we're trying to do as a business is just to provide additional margin in your lives, whether that's margin of time or perhaps finances. And we do that by representing various clients in the marketplace that bring value to the marketplace. So with that, uh, at the end of this message, as well as in this recording link, you will see more information on Oxinane. If you have interest in this, we'd like to get you more information on this. I'd like to introduce you to Paul Kloster. He's the principal at PEK Accounting. He's going to briefly introduce himself and share three things that he thinks is really going to be a benefit for you to listen today. Thanks much. Hello, everyone. Hi, Chris. Thanks for that introduction. Hello, everyone. My name is Paul Kloster, and I'm with PEK Accounting Consulting. We're located in Bloomington, Minnesota, serving the Twin Cities area. And we help small to mid-sized businesses with their accounting and with their financial plans. And what we've discovered over the years that we've been working, which is over 20 years, is that clients and com companies, they have plans to grow and they have plans to make progress, but they don't have really a financial underpinning of that plan and of that progress. And that's what we help them with. And we're, we're very strategic in how we go about this. And we have our, our operating philosophy is very simple. It's about planning your work and working your plan. And that's how we approach every client engagement. And when we talk about that financial plan, we're going to go to the a first demonstration of that for you. And that this first illustration is about the cash flow plan. It is critical that a company understands the cash that is coming in and the cash that is going out. That's the only two things that happen in a business. And knowing those cash collections, knowing the operating costs that are, are the cash outflows, determining what your future cash balance is so that you can make decisions for that growth and progress. If, you do, if you're not tracking and projecting that type of information, you've really got a, a very small chance of making that growth and progress that you would really like to make. And so we start with this approach. We start with documenting and projecting the company cash flow. And this diagram is, is the deliverable of that approach. And it, it shows a great deal of information in this one snapshot. So we start with the cash flow, then a methodology that we call balance sheet business management. And that's where we look at all the balance sheet accounts, starting with cash, and we do an examination of those accounts. And that's because our plan wants to deliver to you a strong balance sheet. And we believe that that's the main financial objective of an organization is to have a strong balance sheet that can help that company take advantage of opportunities and meet challenges. And that's the major objective. And we go to work on strengthening the balance sheet by looking at assets, looking at liabilities, and looking how we manage that to make that balance sheet a strong and give that company a stronger financial footing to enable that growth and progress. We go in a little bit deeper with the executives of this company when we go into balance sheet business management because we want to educate them on how to do that and how that they can execute that with our guidance. And we like to educate that business management team on, on knowledge of the, of the balance sheet. Do they know what accounts that their company has on the balance sheet, in the assets section, in the liability section? Because, and the reason for that is that every decision 
that that management team makes, small or large, has an impact on balance sheet strength. And that's our how we guide decision making is by educating and recommending strategies and tactics to grow this balance sheet strength. And that balance sheet strength will enable that company to take advantage of opportunities that, are, that come and more importantly, and just as important actually, are business challenges. And we are in great time of business challenges right now in this COVID virus environment. So we, we go to work by planning our work, working our plan, specifically in the area of cash flow, and then we go to work on that balance sheet. And this is a very, very critical approach that this management team can make, and ultimately it'll give them the confidence to make decisions and to move forward for that growth and that progress. So, so Chris, I'll turn it back to you. And thank you, Paul. Uh, the listening audience for listening to this introduction, and thank you, Paul, for the investment of your time today to share a little bit about uh, your organization. If you, the listener, have an organization, whether it's a business or a nonprofit, um, I would ask yourself, how do you feel about your cash flow forecast moving forward? I mean, coming out of COVID, most people before COVID had, what, nine months to uh, six months of uh, cash flow forecast feeling pretty good. Today, companies have got three weeks to two months of cash flow forecast. And uh, if you're uncomfortable about that, is it time to take another look, to have a discussion, to come to the table, just to see how could we build your confidence in, in understanding what your cash flow is doing, giving you eyes to make decisions on how you're taking care of your employees, how you're going to be there to take care of your customers and your, your clients that you serve for the long term by putting that cash flow forecast together and then working on that balance sheet to tweak it and move it forward so you can make day-to-day -day decisions to run your business and organization successfully. If this is important to you and you'd like to enter into a discussion, please contact us by the link Oxenane below or our website, oxenane.com. I'll spell that. It's A-U-X-A-N-E-I-N.com. Again, A-U-X-A-N-E-I-N.com. You can email me at info at oxenane.com or give us a call, 612 695-9176. Again, 612-695-9176. Be sure to save the uh, this channel if it's important to you. We've got tremendous other clients that we'd like to bring resources to introduce you to, to encourage you and your business and nonprofit. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day.